There we are. See? Uh, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> and welcome to episode number two of Getting Real with Jazz and Nick. So yes, we did decide on a name for our podcast, and um, I think Getting Real with Jazz and Nick is pretty cool. Um, we just want to basically inspire you with what we're real about, with what we love about passions. Um, so yeah, get real with Jazz and Nick. And Jazz wanted her first name first, so <laughs> that's why it's Jazz it's and not Nick. True. It just not sounded Nick better. And Jazz. Just sounded better. Everyone said everyone. Cool. We did ask the personal trainers at the, our gym that we own, and like they they did agree that um, Jazz and number one. Nick sounded no. Yes. You're the looks and I'm the brains. Mm, she thinks so. <laughs> okay, maybe we're like 50 50 each. Like, we can be no, even. No, no, that's all straight. You need balance in a relationship, right? Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so today is Tuesday. It's actually raining a little bit here. And I don't know how your Tuesdays go, but mine's been awesome. Anyway, we're also bringing you this amazing podcast, which is about to make it even more amazing. And we're bringing it, um, you basically how to write an amazing, life-changing boxing program. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we um, here to chat to you about today. So we're gonna. Oh, you gonna say something? No, it's alright. Uh, you, you, you talk a long I, time. I talk too much. You go. You go. <laughs> so we're gonna talk a couple of things for the boxing training plans. Um, for the boxing talk, I should say. Um, <laughs> part of it, we're going to discuss training plan structure and stuff like yep. that, how to run an awesome boxing class. But we're also going to touch on the um, other aspect of the class that keeps people coming back and back. And what's that, Nicole? The energy and the inspiration. Why didn't your clients come to you if you weren't giving them what they wanted? So, um, results, number one. I think that fun. number two is fun. And I think it goes all hand in hand because people want to live happy lives. They want to feel happy. They want to... They want to be amazing. Um, they want to be around happy people. Yeah. They, when you when a person walks into your gym or personal training studio or um, your boot camp on an oval, they want to feel uplifted. Like it could be 5.30 in the morning or 6.30 at night after a long, hard day, that job they hate. They're already feeling negative because the world is quite negative, especially if you live in a gossipy, small-minded mm. community, like whether that's your friend group or not. Like, you know, or you they could have the been news. at work and someone could have said something really mean or something that hurt them and yeah, you know, like, down a bit. You know, someone wanted to put their name in front of your name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, but like, it was, group, new... it was group bullying though, it wasn't just me, everyone. Oh, yeah, it was that. everyone against me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the news itself is negative. You don't have to go far to find something bad that's going on in the world. There's a lot of good things going on too. So we want people to see the good things that mm-hmm. they can have in their life. Um, they have a bit of gratitude for, so yeah. So, where are we going to start then today? Well, we should either start with the most important or end with the most important. Which would you rather do? They're always equal. When I eat my dinner at night, I always eat the worst first so that I enjoy the best last. Like, I'll, I'll always leave my fat on my steak last because that's the best bit. That's disgusting. <laughs> my whole dinner is the best bit, so I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Well, today I had um, apple with my chicken, and like Jazz yeah. didn't like that. She thought I was weird, but I left the apple to last. It was the cinnamon and cinnamon, <laughs> and it was really awesome. <laughs> anyway, so we'll start with the worst first. What is the worst? I think they're both equally important. That's what I was saying about my dinner. It's always good. <gasps> oh, that's what you're meaning in yeah. that. <laughs> you always talk this cryptic talk. Um, anyway, analogies. Big red for Nicole. Uh, maybe she has the brains of this partnership. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Relationship, actually. It's like a marriage. Anyway. <laughs> Scissor, paper, rock. I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be structure. And I'll be inspiration. inspiration. And then whatever comes first. Right. We'll talk about first. Okay, ready? One, two. Scissors, paper, rock. On the rock. Oh, so you win. What were you? Inspiration? Yeah. Inspiration! <laughs> well, I felt like I wanted to do spirit fingers then. I don't know why. In a glove. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you going to start with inspiration? Oh, I'm starting with inspiration. you start with inspiration. Okay, so it starts, I think, the moment you walk, um, you roll up in your car. I think it starts right then. Like, doesn't matter if you've had a shit morning or... Uh, you spilled your breakfast down your clothes, you tripped over the dog, you couldn't find your car keys, you broke up with your boyfriend, 
you and going through a divorce, your kids are hating on you, whatever it is, you can't bring it to your personal training studio. You can't even bitch about it. You only talk about happy stuff, right? Yes. And some And some people are like, oh, that's not being real. That's not being real. Like, people want to know the real you. Um, and I think, yes, you can still be but real. But being cranky and annoyed all the time shouldn't be the real you. And if yeah. it is the real you, then you're probably in the wrong industry anyway. Yeah. Like, there's lots of great things to be positive about anyway. I don't think we need but to you, more negative. Yeah, well, you need to leave that stuff at the door because people want to mm-hmm. come to you. They want to feel inspired and uplifted and like they want energy when they leave you. They want to leave there feeling great. They don't want to walk into someone who's down, sad and bitching or anyone like some really negative attitude or mind frame because that's not why they come to us to, to make their lives worse. They come to us to make themselves feel better, feel uplifted and feel good about themselves. And if you spend an hour out of your negativity and an hour focus on someone else and bringing them up and lifting them up, you're going to feel a million times better at the end of that session as well as the client. I don't know about you, but it's happened to me heaps of times where I've just been like, oh, no energy, I don't even want to do this session. But then as soon as I spend an hour, like, like you said, focusing on someone else, lifting other people up, it lifts you up and then by the end of the day, uh, end of the hour, you're feeling amazing and yeah, I change my perspective a lot about sessions when I'm not feeling ready for sessions. Does that make sense? <laughs> We're in the business of getting more clients, not lesser clients. Yeah. So that is a very big tip. Yeah, so what, what will give you more clients being negative from the moment you drive and you rock up at your session, um, being negative or being positive, what's going to give you more clients and get more results for your clients? So, we should do a role play. Oh. So, okay, I'll be the client and Nicole can be, which personal trainer are you going to be, the negative one or the happy one? Well, let's first? do the worst first. Okay. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi Nicole. I'm just walking in. Hi Nicole. Hi Jazz. How's your day? Pretty good. How's yours? Oh crap. I kicked my dog. I tripped over the bathroom mat. Slammed my head in the bathroom. Had to go to hospital. Oh it's just been shocking and it's only 5am. That sounds terrible. I know. And now I have to be here to do this boxing session. I'm sorry. We can reschedule if you want to. No, no. We'll do it anyway. You're here and I'm here. We'll do it. And you know, as we were going through that role play just then, I could feel my energy just literally be zapped out of my body. Even though I know it wasn't real, I could feel my energy decreasing. Yeah. You should try that with someone. Definitely try that. Okay, now we should try it the other way around. No, you be the bad negative client. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I want to feel my energy go down. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm the bad negative personal trainer. Yeah. You're the client. Okay, so you come in the session. Yeah. I'm coming in. <laughs> Hi Jazz. Hi Nicole. How are you going? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. What's fine? I just had the biggest fight with my husband. He's such an asshole. Oh. Anything I can do to help? No, no. I just don't want to be here today. I can't help it. Do you want to reschedule? No, it's fine. I'm here now. Let's just do it. It's true. I, I got it just as soon as you like started nearly fake crying. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, the energy's gone. That's now, right. It makes you feel it. depressed. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, being humans, I don't know if you've ever looked into it or read anything on it, but like, um, well, you can just tell. Like, if you're around someone that's happy, it makes you happy. And like, I think. I think we need to do the happy one now because okay. I want to get this feeling back. Okay, we're going to do the happy. I'll be okay. the happy, happy trainer. Okay. Like my usual self, I'm being me now. <laughs> I don't have to pretend. Be real. <laughs> okay. Hashtag be real. I'm coming in. Big. I'm coming in. Oh. Hi, Nicole. Hey, Jazz. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Pretty awesome. Had a great morning. What did you do this morning? Well, I got the kids off to school and then I come in for my crazy boxing session. I'm not sure I'm looking forward to it though, but we'll see how we go. Oh, this will be one of the best sessions you've ever done. I've got some new techniques, some new um, exercises that I got from PT Central, and it is just the bestest, everest plan. You're gonna have heaps of fun. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Yes. <laughs> See, it automatically feels so like much more uplifted and positive. Yeah. Even just from that, even though we know it's not real, it is real, but it's not real. Yeah, but like our emotions don't know it's not real. That's right. Yeah. So try that out, guys. Try that with someone you know. Um, and just see how you feel inside your body. Um, and yeah, see, like you'll notice a big difference and such a difference it does make to your clients. And that could be some of the reasons why some of your clients aren't coming back. 
another few tips too is just keep the music upbeat and un uplifting like um find like power music does some awesome workout remixes so like i always use them in my sessions too um keep the energy up through the music people thrive off music lift the other people up in the session if they're feeling down to help lift everyone else up you know um use your other people that are really high energy that like your high energy clients yes. that's that's awesome um, or if you've, if you've got another personal trainer you work alongside with, if they can come to your session, it really helps lift everyone else lift up too. Like motivate everyone yeah, and we're, we're them. Yeah, we're constantly like getting other of our personal trainers at our gym to go to other people's sessions, not only for their own benefit to upskill, which you should always be doing, but also to make the energy and the vibes in that class good and um, chuck some jokes around, have a good time. And it's also awesome for clients to see personal trainers working out yeah, as well, because then yeah. they see that they practice what they preach Walk all the tour. time. Yes. Yeah. Um, anything else to add on that? I think, you know, have fun, yeah, have fun, keep it light and keep it real. And if you're constantly feeling negative, I think that's a really big thing is that, well, maybe there's a reason in your life that you're feeling always negative and if it's a drag for you to have to be positive and you feel like it's fake, I think maybe you should go look into that deeper arc some questions. Well, what am I unhappy with? What's making me do this or that? What's making me unmotivated to do my own training? What's making me un making me want to emotionally? Like you would ask your trainer, uh, your clients that question. That's right. It's never, we're never too growing to grow some more and look inside ourselves and improve. Mm. So keep that in mind. So we should move on to structure. So every great boxing session has certain elements to it. Besides the amazing, awesome inspiration and fun that you have, obviously um, you need to have certain sections. So warm ups, um, Definitely a warm up. You need to have like a speed round. So we're well, saying that gets a heart rate up nice and fast, like tap type things. You need to have a strength round. Power, isn't it? Oh yeah, power round. Um, where you focus on nice hard hits, nice and slow. And the technique is key. Technique. Definitely. Um, especially before you move into something like combinations. I'd do those two before I do combinations. Um, because your combinations then you're mixing up the different moves and making it a little bit harder. So you really want to have that technique down at the start of yeah, the session. Yeah, and I, and I always find that um, once yeah, once you've like done a little bit of speed, you've done a little bit of power with the jabs and uppers, when you put it all together in combination, the clients can grasp it better rather than yeah. chucking them straight into like a, a jab, cross, upper, hook, knee, kick. Yes. Ah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, and there's definitely some moves which probably should be kept for advanced clients um, mm -hmm. and advanced like, classes. Like yeah. elbows, hooks, knees, kicks. Yeah. Definitely not for beginners. Definitely not. Um, a lot you can do with jab cross uppercuts anyway. That's right. And a lot of people just love those simple sessions. And that's another trick to it is keeping it simple. You don't need to do anything too fancy in a session to make it a great session. Um, the simple ones usually are best because it's, if it's too complicated, people don't enjoy it as much. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? The resistance. The um, the resistance, the strength, the strength. Yeah. Yes. So um, usually you focus on uh, one part of the body. So it might be a leg Legs. section, uh, where you might do some squats in between some punches or some lunges. Or and then you have also like your abs. I mean, your arms your get a section. pretty good workout yeah. in the actual punching. So you might just focus your strength like on the legs and yeah. the abs with some punching in there, getting the arms anyway. And then obviously whole body all rounded workout. That's right, and that's what you want to create it to be, and that's where people are going to get the most benefits and the best results. Mm -hmm. Obviously, and you need to cool down. Yeah. Because people have got to be sore, especially if they haven't looked before. Definitely. Good and it's stretch. been a while too. So yeah. a nice good stretch. Mm -hmm. So we have set all this out for you into like training plans and we've laid it out so you can see the different exercises in each section to make it nice and easy. Especially That's how the PT Central programs look like, literally one I just printed off PT Central. So if you don't know how to run a boxing session before, if you're looking for new ideas. Lots of new ideas. I know like after doing boxing now since like for 18 months and I do like two classes a week, um, I have the same clients coming all the time. That's awesome retention. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't use the same program twice. I have never used the same program twice. That's right. Um, so therefore, put them all on PT Central for you guys best of the best programs. Also, we have for you guys a leg template so that you will never forget a part of your boxing session to put in your boxing session again. Yep. So it's all laid out, it's got its headings, it's got um, speed, power, combinations, uh, resistance or strength training, um, it's got all the sort of bits and pieces you need in mm -hmm. there. And it says also why. like. Why do you need a warm up? I mean, if you don't use that three and four in fitness, you should know. But like to get all the blood flowing to the joints and muscles, then 
that's really always good to talk about in your session too like when you're training clients always tell them the benefits and the why you're doing this um, this is why I do this because I'm an awesome trainer and this is how you're gonna get results and this is why I'll give you this exercise to shape you to right. your bum you know right. you do a lap pull down to give you that really nice waistline you know like, Make, if you're and that's females. the stuff that sells, guys. That's yeah. the stuff that makes people keep coming back. Or and bring their friends. Telling their friends, telling their family, and that's where the results come from. Yeah. So, for today, what we're going to do for you guys, we're going to upload these two, um, make sure they're from PT Central, in the free training plan section, section. So, Nicole, where do they go to get to that? www.ptcentral.net.au or if you ever see www.pttrainingplans.com click on the free training tab yep up the top up the top under programs under think. programs yep and click through there and you will find these guys up there but only till tomorrow 9am 9am because that's when our next podcast will be and that's 9am oh. australian time yeah sorry if you're overseas i'm not good with the time frames the changes <laughs> and in the meantime if you guys have any feedback or um any questions or uh, want to give us some ideas or anything we can do for you, uh, go to the contact us page on oh, www.ptcentral.net.au <laughs> or www.pttrainingplans.com.au, no, just .com. <laughs> if you're overseas, can you get to .net.au or .com.au? Yeah, they can still oh, get to that. So we shouldn't need to tell the people about the other one then? It's just there. Oh, it's there. It's just there. <laughs> just cause, it makes it easier. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye. See that one all right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's still going. Oh.